Hello, Namskara. In this video, let us solve 40 questions from Kolar Maths Model Paper 2. First four questions are arithmetic progression question. What is the first question? Nth term is given, 7n minus 3. What is the second term? Either a question solve, we have to substitute the value of n with 2. If you substitute the value of n with 2, you will get answer 11. Second question. So they have given a common uh, difference question. AP koti dare. 1 minus 1 minus 3 anta. AP he kandidithira. Second term minus first term is AP. That will be minus 2. Third one formula question koti dare. Either you can derive this formula or if you remember this formula, the correct answer is n multiplied by n plus 1 by Fourth question, they've given the first term and common difference. First term and the common difference koti dare. Yaudu unta note beko. You can check. Actual answer is D. Yakandre, this is the only one which has common difference minus 2 and the first term 3. Udde dalla on the common difference tappi dare. Illandre, AP ne alla. This one is more tricky arithmetic progression question. Second term at the fifth term koti dare. Mat the first term kandidate beko unta yare. First, we use the nth term formula. a2 equals a plus d equals 7. a5 equals a plus 4d equals 19. These two are linear equations in two variables. You can solve and find the value of d as 4 and a as 3. And the question is asking for a. So the correct answer is 3. This is an interesting question. How can we show what is the similarity criteria? So, here is the angle e, but we can find out the value of e. Yake, we know the value of d and f, so we can say that e is 55 degrees using this formula. Now, once we know e value is 55 degree, you look at this, these two sides and the angle in between. So, angle A is same as angle E because both are 55 degree. AB by DE is 1 by 3. AC by FE or EF is also 1 by 3, which means the ratio of these two sides are the same and the angle in between is the same. Therefore, it is SAS criteria. Side, angle, side. This is a basic proportionality theorem uh, or you can also use the similar triangle property. I'm going to use similar triangle property. Similar triangle in here, PST is similar to PQR. Therefore, PT divided by PR will be equal to PS divided by PQ. Then solve, you will get PT equals four and a half centimeter. So which is this four and a half centimeter here. If that is four and a half, the whole thing is ten and a half. This has to be six centimeter. So the correct answer is six centimeter. Now, eighth question is a standard question. Ratio of area is sixteen is to nine. What will be the ratio of the corresponding sides? It is four is to three because area is in square of the side ratio. Ninth question is a bit tricky question. Ninth question is all madado. We know that COD is similar to AOB. Why? Because all the three angles are same. So this angle is same as this angle, this angle is same as this angle, and these two angles are same. Now we also know that area of the two triangles are proportional to the square of the side. So we'll work on it. CD square divided by AB square. CD square, hage barkoltiwe, but AB square, they have said it as it is 3 CD square. So CD square, CD square will get cancelled and we have 1 by 9. So 1 by 9 is there. What can we say about COD? We can say that COD can be said as 108 divided by 9, which is 12 centimeter square. The correct answer is 12. 10th one. So this is a Pythagoras theorem question. So what have they asked? There is a ladder 25 meter long. The touches a window which is 24 meter high and we need to find the distance from the base. So how do you find it? Pythagoras theorem. If you find it, you get the answer 7. 
Now, 11th question to 14th question are pair of linear equation questions. The first question has infinitely many solution because if you do A1 by A2, B1 by B2, C1 by C2, you will find that they are all the same. Yalla same idre, it will be coincident line and coincident lines have infinite many solution. Second question says they are inconsistent. Inconsistent idre, the lines are parallel. The lines are parallel idre, B is correct. The second question, the answer is B. In the third question, they have given the point and we have to identify the point. The point is X is 0 because it's on the Y axis and Y is minus 1. So therefore, the point is 0, comma, minus 1. The last one, they have given the value of X. They have given the equation. You can find the value of Y by substituting. So either X is 0 on the substitute matter, you can show that Y equals 6. The correct answer is D. Now, 15th question, so they have given a uh, length of the tangent as 8 cm, radius is 6 cm, and we have to find the distance from the center. Now, this is a Pythagoras theorem question again, because this angle is 90 degree. So, you can show that AC equals 10 cm. So the correct answer is C. This is again a... Uh, circle and tangent question. So let us go through this question. So what is that they have given? This is a circle and these are all tangents. Okay. And we are supposed to find the perimeter of x, y, z triangle. How do you find out? We know the tangents drawn from external point, the length of them are equal. So which means we can find all the sides like it is shown here. So this one will be 6 centimeter. This will be 3 centimeter. This will be 4 centimeter. And then we can find individual sides like how it is shown here. So this will be 6 plus 4, 10. This will be 6 plus 3, 9. And this will be 4 plus 3, 7. And once you have all the sides, you can just add the sides and you get 26 centimeters is the answer. Seventeenth question. P is an external point. AP and AB are... Uh, AP and PB are tangents. So this angle is given as 100 degree. We have to find AOP or POA, which is this angle. So because this is 100 degree, this has to be 80 degree because when you add them, it is 180. You had an add more 180 agweco. So it's 80 degree right there. And this AOP is half of it. So therefore it is 40 degree. So the correct answer is 40. 18 question, construction question. They have asked the ratio. The ratio is 4 is to 2. Okay, 1 point, 2 point, 3 point, 4 point. So 4 units and this is 1 unit, 2 unit. So 4 is to 2. So here they have asked what are PQ and PR. Even though this is not to scale, it is scale illa, solpa center idhan kaan alla, but PQ and PR are Tangents to the circle with center O. 20th question, collinear question. So solve collinear question, we use area of triangle formula. So area of triangle formula, what we do is we take the points and we substitute the formula as zero. We substitute the area as zero. And when you simplify, you can show that the value of, actually it's not K, the value of S is seven. The correct answer is 7. Now the distance of the point from y axis is x uh, coordinate and the distance is always positive therefore it is 7 units. And what is the graph in the graph what is the measure? So we know the point one point is 0 0 another point is 3 4 if you use the distance formula, you can show that the distance is 5 units. So the correct answer is 5. 23rd question is a midpoint question. Then solve midpoint formula. Midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So we have to now find the value of y such that this equation is holds good. 
and that will be 5 plus y equals 6 other artha y equals 6 minus 5 which is 1 so correct answer is 1 24th question equal roots question when e roots are equal we know the discriminant is 0 discriminant is b square minus 4ac equals 0 which means b square equals 4ac which means c equals b square by 4a so it is c if one root is given find the value of k if the root is given then the equation will be 0 at x equals 1 if you substitute you can show that k value is minus 1 important in the root is the root root is the value of x substitute this equation 0 so 1 plus k plus 6 will be 0 which means k equals minus 7 26th question so they have given a form we can convert it to standard form hege multiply maadidre nimge x square plus 5x plus 6 equals 0 anta sigutte therefore the correct answer is d 27th question is that because sum of a number yes x is a number and twice the square of the same so that is 2x square equals 56 so x plus 2x square equals 56 Trigonometry question 1 minus tan square 45 divided by 1 plus tan square 45 is 0 because tan square 45 is 1 and 1 minus 1 will be 0. 0 divided by anything is 0. 29th question is 1 because cosecant a plus cot a multiplied by cosecant a minus cot a adanna madidre a plus b multiplied by a minus b agutte which is a square minus b square so that is cosecant square minus cot cot square now that is equal to 1 because 1 plus cot square equals cosecant square new cot square na right hand side thagondre nimu godagutte cosecant square minus cot square is 1 and This is a simple definition question. Sin theta koti dare cosecant theta kandide veko. Cosecant theta is 1 by sin theta. Adanna maadudre 13 by 5 sigathe. This is an interesting question. It is a combination of identity and complementary angle question. So identity in helathe 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta anthe helathe. So we get cos square 25. But we know that cos theta equals sin 90 minus theta. So this is equal to sine square 90 minus 25, which is equal to sine square 65. So correct answer is C. 32nd question. Illi, they have given this angle 45 degree. They have given this side 6 centimeter. They have asked us to find BC. Now, because we can use the tan theta, we can say that tan 45 equals opposite side by adjacent side. Because tan 45 is 1, it has to be equal. So BC also has to be 6 cm. Then, mode of a given set of scores. Mode is the most frequent value. So this is an average mark question. So we've been given that average of 6 subjects is 17. And we have to find the one missing subject. The sum of five subjects is 83. We have to find the one missing subject. In the Hingsol Madado, what we do is we first use this formula 83 plus x because five subjects number is 83. Other missing x and the r and 83 plus x divided by 6 is 17. If you solve, you get x equals 102 minus 83, which is 19. The correct answer is Ogiv median question kelliyare. The median is where the two Ogivs intersect. So it will be 4. This is a formula question. Frustrum of a cone's curved surface area formula. So that is A. Here we have been given a volume of a cylinder. Its radius is 3 cm. Height kelliyare. So volume is pi r square h. Now we have been given that pi r square h is 198 or h equals 198 by pi r square. 198 by r square, in this case r is 3 centimeters, so that will be 3 square multiplied by 7 by 22. Why 7 by 22? Because pi is in the denominator. Denominator le daga 22 by 7, 7 by 22 agatha. So, idu 22 times 
9 is 198. 9 by 9 is 1, which means this is 7 centimeter. So, correct answer is C. 38th question. Namgi surface area of the cone, curved surface area of the cone koti We need to find the radius and the slant height is given. So, formula ino pi rl. Adana substitute madre namgi and sigate. We get 3 centimeter as the answer. 39th question, three cubes are joined end to end, which is basically looks like this. When you join three cubes, you get a cuboid where the length will be 12 centimeter, breadth is 4 centimeter and height is 4 centimeter. If you multiply that, you get 192 centimeter square. 12 times 16 is 192. Final question. This is an interesting question. So they've asked us to find the volume of a cone. How do you find the volume of a cone? In this case, the radius of the cone is given as same as hemisphere. So that is R. The height of the cone is given as R because that's a maximum you can fit. So radius to uh, R agide, height to R agide. So it will become pi R cube by 3. So correct answer is A. So we solved this question paper, 40 questions. Uh, some of them are tricky questions. Others are simple formula questions. Hopefully you like this solution. Thanks for watching. See you soon with a new paper. Bye.